My top five sword and shield. The Teosha's emblem has to come first. Not only is the design great, but it's also the only really great reason in the game to use earth crystals. I mean, look at this thing. 350 attack is solid, but 500 blast is just in the realm of ridiculousness. It doesn't have any slots, so it's a little hard to get creative with your sets, but it's totally worth it. It's the greatest SNS in the game. And that's it. I hope you uh, enjoyed my list. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, the second one is the Cursed Rajan Club. Not only do I really like the design, I mean, being able to hit enemies with a club is incredibly empowering. It has kind of uh, bad purple, but overall, look at that. 448 power is great. 10% affinity you can ignore. And it's got thunder, so if you're against a dragon, you're going to be clubbing it to death pretty easily. Third one's got to be the Bracadios one. It does look really cool. I like the red and orange hues that you get from the Raging one. At 378 attack and 390 blast, it's very solid. And it's got two slots, which actually makes it really versatile. And the sharpness. I tend to like to use this with Razor Sharp because the purple's not too long, but this is a great weapon. And of course, the Mortal Heart. Now, this thing not only puts enemies to sleep really fast, but it's got pretty decent attack at 308, 30% affinity, so this thing is begging to be used with a full Camellio set with uh, status up and status critical. It's got a slot and if you put sharpness plus one, that sharpness just never goes away. It's great. And finally, the Shagaru weapon is solid as well. 336 is a little on the low scale, but 40% affinity does actually boost that up quite a bit. 350 dragon makes it good against all the elder dragons, or at least most of them. And it's got really good sharpness as well. And I personally like the design a lot. And now to honorable mentions. So the first one has to come to the Eternal Vengeance. This rusted sword is a real pain to make because of all the earth crystals and stuff that you need, but it's got low attack at 266, but it's got 600 dragons. So you're gonna wanna use this thing with dragon attack plus three and really exploit that, but this thing will just cut through dragons like you wouldn't believe. Another good sleep weapon you'll also see some people use is the green Plesioth one. I like it mainly because the design is pretty neat and uh, different, and also because it at least gives some meaning to having to gather those stupid Plesioth materials um, when you're using the casting machine. So 332 attack is okay, 330 sleep is really great, the sharpness is not the best in the world and you're going to want to use sharpness plus one, but it is a good sleep weapon. And it's needless to say that there are a lot of good elemental sword and shields as well that I'm not covering because this is a top five. Uh, you generally have two choices, there's like one that has high attack and lower elemental, or one with higher elemental and lower attack. The way you use it is purely up to you, but if you're using Sword and Shield, I recommend that you do study up, and you figure out which parts are weak against what, so that you can exploit it to its best. Happy hunting.